as the defending Big 12 Conference champion and seventh ranked Oklahoma Sooners play host to the newest member of the Mountain West Conference, the Horned Frogs of TCU in Oklahoma. Drew Coleman will take it at his own one yard line. He's scamper up, and there's that coverage that we talked about a moment ago. He barely gets back to the long safety. Four wide receivers inside pitch off to Hobbs, and he will be up across the 44. We told you Dusty Dvorak is. Nice defense. All right, thanks a lot, Trenny. Five wide receivers. Gunn can't find any room, and he will run up across the 49 and have the first down for TCU. First time with Brent Venables. He runs the Oklahoma defense. Wide open inside the 40. And that pass completed to the tight end, Chad Andrus, coming back from a knee injury in the third game year ago, Coach. That makes a big difference as far as the learning process as that ball was overthrown. Bo Pellini was here last year as a coordinator. What the hell is He told you winner, Jason White, was able to get a six-year of eligibility because of a medical hardship. He was a backup in 03. And... On the mark, pinpoint passing out of bounds. The catch at the 44-yard line. That's a lot of people of the early years of one Mark Clayton, the all-time record holder here as a wide receiver. Peterson dances out of a tackle across the 50 and into TCU territory. Well, it's play of the Oklahoma drive. Headed your way. Opening possession for Oklahoma. That ball tipped away, and they're going to say it was an incomplete pass. In the defensive front. And here he comes again trying to get some pressure. And that pass will be incomplete. And Corey Rogers wants a flag, but uh, that eight-man front. Third and long for Oklahoma. Thompson back to pass wide open at the 25-yard line is Rankins. And he will have the first down for Oklahoma. On the plus 22 with a chance to score here. Second 10 for Oklahoma. Trying to get some points early on. And they hit it off inside for the little guy. Jacob Gutierrez, who is only five feet, seven inches for all the things he does in the community. They take it to him, and this time Thompson will take off. Ball comes out, and TCU will take over. A turnover at the five-yard line, first of the afternoon. And Paul Thompson gets it, gets drilled at about the six-yard line. The football comes out at the first down. They have not had much success running the football, but throwing it, they've been very successful. And once again, the pump fake and the completion. Salt in it to prevent the cramping you guys were talking about. Here's the end around wide open. That is Donald Massey. The speedster cuts it back, has one man to beat on the outside, and he make the tackle. A touchdown saving tackle by C.J. Iu, the transfer. Mistaken that one. Yeah, Daddy's got a tough one on Monday. Tommy's got a A&M this evening on ABC. Dancing back and forth and nearly breaking through is Merrill again. Picks up the first down again. Uh. Four wide receivers back out of the backfield. Gunn gets some pressure, throws it, has the receiver, and touchdown, Horn Frogs. A 16 yard completion to Derek Moore, the walk-on sophomore, and he catches a touchdown, the very first touchdown of the afternoon for TCU. And the kick is up and good by Peter Lococo. And with 10 minutes to play in the first half, the Horn Frogs of TCU are broken on top, seven zip over Oklahoma. Coverage, they have always been pretty, pretty sporty up front. Getting some pressure on Thompson. He has to hurry to throw, and he grounds it in front of the receiver. The intended receiver was Lindy Holmes. Up in six years. Second and ten. He'll throw it again. This time, wide open downfield inside the 20-yard line, and a touchdown saving tackle by Clint Ingram. And that is Lonte Hobbs, the tailback, tore a biceps muscle early in camp, and he wants to sit out the season. As Gunn throws one of his uh, poorer passes, that one intended for Corey Rock. Don't turn it over, get the game to the fourth quarter. Peter Lococo was inconsistent a year ago from 25 yards the out. Good. The kick is up and good, and TCU extends their lead to 10. Patterson talking to Bumpus, the defensive coordinator, a moment ago. Here is, oh, and nailed behind the line of scrimmage. Thompson just gets hammered on the sack back at about the 18-yard line. Eric Buchanan, the receivers for the Horn Frogs. 
Gun back to pass, has the receiver, Rogers at the 40-yard line, first down, TCU. Yeah, that ball was thrown on the road, Marcus. Friendswood, Texas is where Ballard is from. He'll hand it off to the tailback, that is Hobbs, and he will be inside the 40. That should be enough for another TCU first down. We haven't heard 39 yards of total offense. Final 20 seconds of the first half, and Gunn will try to fall on it. And Oklahoma may have gotten it here. Oklahoma will indeed take over. First turnover of the first half by TCU. And Oklahoma will have maybe two plays. Making the fumble recovery. Four wide receivers. Bomar, the quarterback, will throw toward the end zone. Has the receiver at about the 34. And they're going to say got out of bounds with five seconds on the clock. 49 yards out to put Oklahoma on the board. It's long enough. And it is no good as the first half, first half will end here. And TCU is pulling off for Coach I formation. Runnels and Peterson, they fake the ball. And throw it wide open up the field is Travis Wilson. He will have the completion up at about the 40-yard line inside. The four. First and 10 in TCU territory. Opening possession of the second half for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Heavy dose of Adrian Peterson, and why not? He had 1,925 yards a year. Than you would expect out of a Oklahoma team. They'll give it to Peterson again, and he will have the first down at about the 26-yard line as he lumbers ahead for about three and a half. Thompson in the shotgun. Hands it off and down nearly inside the 10 yard yards in the first half. Make it up for it here early in the second half. Peterson on the edge. Five-yard touchdown, Oklahoma. We said before the game they had Peterson. We didn't know what else. They've still got Peterson. We've got a shocker going on here in Soonerland. Norman pass and throw it in the other direction. Make the handoff inside, wide open up the field at the 40-yard line. Here's another receiver. That is Quinley Harmon, the junior. That'll be close to another. Tight ends, one in motion. Here is Gunn. He will fake the hand, and he is nailed for a huge loss back at about the 37-yard line by five wide receivers. Empty backfield for Gunn. Over the middle, he will hit his running back, Robert Merrill, who will get back near the original line of scrimmage, and that's about all. Defenders, you've got seven blockers. They tell the tailback, hey, you got the safety. He's on you. This time they fake the Peterson, hit the pass outside. That is to Travis Wilson, and he is slung out of bounds. Third and nine for Oklahoma, second possession of the half. Thompson waits, 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 tries to get a receiver, almost got it picked off as he threw behind Travis Wilson. And Courtney couldn't get it off. And Oklahoma, great effort by Jason. Kewan Jones, a backup tailback, is in motion. Thompson will take it and give it to Jones, who will knife his way down to about the five. That should be enough for another Oklahoma first. Thompson, let's see what they do. Thompson rolls on the near side, has a receiver, and overthrows Travis Wilson, who was open just beyond the goal line. Plenty of leg, just missed it wide right. This is a 21-yard attempt is up and good. And just that quickly, we are all tied up here on up his back. Got a bit of a piggyback ride from Harmon. And that pass incomplete. And TCU is going to have to kick it away or punt it away again. They have not. Worst rushing effort a year ago was against Nebraska when he had 58 yards as well. Here's Bomar getting pressure, and he will go down, drops the football, and it is picked up by TCU. And TCU will take over at the Oklahoma 16-yard line. That's Bowman with the Horn Frogs. Gun on the option to Hobbs. Cuts it back, 10, 5, 4. Check it, that's Robert Merrill. The other 1,000-yard rusher as he's down inside the 5-yard line. Second and goal from the 2-yard line. Option. Gun gets it to Merrill. Wide open, touchdown, Horn Frogs. from two yards out by the tailback. 
The extra point is up and good, and TCU. Rob, which led to a touchdown opening drive, second half. After that, he hasn't been able to do much from the running back position. Second and four, Thompson back to pass, gets it picked off at the 25. And that is Drew Coleman, the very athletic cornerback, and Thompson just threw it right to him. Now, I'm going to tell you something, though. Travis Day, Travis Williams. Coming off a of five and six season, TCU trying to rebound, and that pass complete for another Horn Frog first down. They had gone to six consecutive. Second and eight, TCU trying to get down on the ground. They throw it this time inside, bounces off a of helmet and gets it picked off. Interception by Clint Ingram, who left the game earlier. And that Ingram, who left the game with a stinger earlier, picks off the pass, and Coach will be a major upset in college football. Pass almost picked off again. Quincy Butler, and he's thrown the football. Motion, three wide receivers. Here's Thompson, has a receiver, and he doesn't hold on. Right in the hands of Lindy Holmes, the freshman from Dallas, Texas. He would have the first down. They were less than 39% a year ago on third down. There's the completion, it won't be enough, though. Up to midfield for Corey Rogers. It'll still be about four yards shy of the first down. People that could have gotten it downfield today for Oklahoma. This one will go to Wilson, and he will be shoved out of bounds, which will stop the clock after the gain of about two yards. Yeah, you know, your freshman quarterback hurt him. The interception hurt him. And then, of course, Paul Thompson. And another fumble, and Oklahoma looks like they may have fallen back on the football. Fourth down. It's, it's, it's TCU ball either way with, no, with one timeout left. 